Hey, what's up guys? This is Freakish here. Just making a real quick video. Gotta make a video. It's the weekend. It's Sunday. I haven't made a video all weekend, so here you guys go. It's a little treat. Um, it's a program I made completely from scratch. Didn't copy crap. Made it myself, okay? So, um, right here, we have all these huge lists of emails, right? Um, basically, there's too many. There's 4,024. What I made was a program that actually um, just ripped out um, the list with all of them that contain the word password in them. And it actually um, it just shot them all right here into this list. So I made a program that reads this list and shows you it all in a really quick, easy format. So, right here, it, this program comes with, of course, the emails folder, the email list, which contains all the emails with passwords, and then this right here settings it's completely blank so since it's blank once you launch it for the first time it goes ahead and asks you to locate stuff so we're gonna go ahead and paste the directory we're in right here and it's gonna detect that there's a config file in the directory and it's gonna allow you to click on use because that's a directory with configurations okay so you click on use um, you go ahead and type in the name of the list in this case the name of our list is example E-X-A-M-P-L-E it goes ahead and shows you a preview showing you all the different things okay let's go ahead and say we don't have this emails folder here what it's gonna then do is it's going to tell you that it does not exist and that is because it can't locate the preview and it has to locate the preview to even have the program run at all so here we go let's go ahead and example there we go so we click on next welcome rape members and visitors click yes to finish Ca configs detected set up correctly click yes to continue or if you want to completely reconfigure the whole program click no it'll go ahead and ask you that every single time you launch so click yes right away it loads up all the different emails you have them all right here and um, basically, just because it contains the word pass does not mean it's going to actually have people's passwords. So what we want to do is, let's say we scan through this, we read through it all, we don't find anything to be of use. Drag it down here into the trash. Now, right here, we, um, we look through this. Um, okay. So then... Without okay, so this is password right here. That's so yeah. If if you were to find anything here, I know there's one up here actually. Okay, right here's one. Um, Vogue Plaza, password Lifefang 2008. You would go ahead and drag that down to your keeps right here, and then let's say we want to just only show that part right here in our notes. So then we'd go ahead and click on save plus reload then we're assured that everything is saved so now what happens when you go ahead and close uh, it just asks you if you want to save it all before you close so you'd click yes now let's say see all these config files right there oh, you go ahead and relaunch the program asks you if you want to clear the configs or not click yes you want to continue and then um, there we go it goes ahead and loads the, all your notes whatever you put in the trash can it knocks it off this list um, it also goes ahead, and now right here you have this. So let's say we knock this off. I mean, no, let's say we knock this into right here. So now let's go ahead and save and reload it. So now there's only 1,387. So yeah, you could just basically sit here and locate all the good stuff. Save and reload. So, there you go. It's a pretty cool program in my opinion, but I made it, so um, it's up to you. And then you can also drag this up here, and then drag this back up here. You can just drag them all back up here, too. I don't know if, um, yeah, I haven't made it so that you can select a whole bunch at once, but I didn't find that to be useful. So, save and reload it. Now you have it all saved. It counts all the way up to 1,391 again. However, the actual version contains 1,406 because um, 
I was testing, and I got the, l the list mixed up. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, as long as this works, and you can go through all these logs really quickly, and pick out the ones you don't like, and the ones that you do like, and then go ahead and close it, and save it, and then come back to it later. That's all that really matters to me, anyways. So, go ahead and comment on if you like this program or not. Um, I don't think I'm going to be releasing it unless I release it without the emails, because these emails are pretty, um, pretty high class, you know? They're, they're pretty cool, top class type of things. Your cPanel password is password, your username, drag that down there and see that this is good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is real good stuff. Um, it, oh, okay, let's see this real quick. <laughs> I, I know this probably isn't allowed on YouTube, but hold on. This looks like a pretty cool site. It's under construction. Let's go to the C panel. So, his username is this. So, let's go ahead and put in that username. His password is password. My normal. Oh, is your password? Oh. Wow. You know what? I look so stupid right now, but I don't even care because it said your password is your password. <laughs> I thought they said your password is password. <laughs> Whatever. So then you would just go ahead and drag that over there, and that's in the good old trash can. Don't got to deal with going through that again. <laughs> perfect example of why this is so useful. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, if you guys really want this, hit me up, and I might send you all the emails and everything, <laughs> you know, if you pay me or something, donate to my site, like, $10 or something. I mean, this this is big stuff right here. A whole bunch of, I don't know, it's a lot of good stuff in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, this is probably going to get deleted or used for investigation purposes, but you know what? Peace! <laughs> I love you guys. You guys are so cool. Thank you so much for listening to me talk for, a, I don't know, a couple minutes. About seven minutes. <laughs> that's a lot of time to spend on a program. But then again, I made it, so that's probably why I'm dragging it out. It's because I, got, I gotta show you all my features, you know, because it's just so cool. It's cool, right? I think it's cool. Alright, well, yeah, peace out, guys. Oh, yeah, I gotta fix that, too. I don't know what what's the deal with that. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, it fixed it now. Oh, you, you know what I think it is? You know what I think? Yeah, it keeps on, um, keeps saving an extra... Oh, I know, I know the problem. It's not, it's not a big deal. It really doesn't even matter. It's just one extra line. And that's because each time it loads, it adds another line. At the, who cares? Okay? It's a good program. I give my own program a 10 out of 10. And that is all. End of story. Peace.